What is going on guys, Vlad with SolusPLC.com here and today we're going to be talking about the timer off delay instruction or the more commonly known as the TOF. So in the previous episode we spoke about the timer on delay which is the more common counterpart that I currently see in my programs uh, and all over the industry but the timer off delay certainly has its applications and we're going to be looking at one of them uh, in this program so what I am doing essentially is I have this PLC that's online right now and it is running this timer off delay instruction and I'm going to be showing you a process where this particular instruction actually makes sense so what I have here in the first rung or rung number zero is I have this system running bit which essentially um, identifies that the sys the system is operational and it is performing as expected. Now think about a conveying system which is essentially doesn't need to be stopped immediately when the system stops. So I have one of these applications that I'm working on right now where it's a uh, within a food industry application and essentially uh, you can't necessarily abruptly stop the production. You want to be able to finish whatever is on the conveyor and get that out of your system before you uh, terminate a normal stop. So of course in an emergency stop situation this would be different but in a normal stop you definitely want to finish removing whatever is on your conveyor into the final bin. So think about a sequential operation as well. So whatever if you have for example a case packer when you hit stop you don't necessarily want the cases to be half formed. You want them to finish a certain operation before before the machine actually stops. So we can accomplish this very easily through the timer off delay function. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, I'm going to energize. So think of this as the system is running and the timer off delay instruction, unlike many other uh, different instructions that we've seen in the past, actually gets not necessarily energized, but they get it gets set to a zero whenever this uh, bit is on and it just stays as is until this bit is released. Now this bit is the system running bit so once I toggle this again by using control T you will notice that the timer will start counting and because I have this dot TT bit so in case you've um, not paid attention in the previous lecture so this bit actually is energized whenever the timer is counting counting and the associated timer of course is system timer zero which is our timer off delay timer now let's do that one more time since i was explaining and you may not have caught this but essentially whenever i turn off the system this uh, timer starts counting and that's going to happen until 15 seconds in this case is reached and during that time during that period of time because of this dot tt instruction our system or our conveying system is actually maintained as energized. So let's look at that once again. Whenever the system is stopped, the timer is still counting and the off delay. So meaning that the system is operational and then you have this off delay, meaning that you want to continue until you turn it off. Uh, now I've seen this timer off delay function or instruction being used in many, many different locations where a T on should be used. So always think of, uh, I guess, use a consistent scheme for your instructions and only use timer off delay if it's an absolutely un impossible to do that with a timer on delay or it is just more convenient to use a timer off delay. So hopefully that explains the very small nuance that you have between the TOF and a TON instruction. Like I've mentioned, it is uh, energized whenever this bit is de-energized and begins counting only at that time. Thank you guys so much for watching my content. If you have any questions on this topic, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend five seconds of your time liking as well as sharing that video, if you've enjoyed it, that would mean absolutely the world to me. And if you have any suggestions for the channel, what kind of hardware software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that down there as well. See you next time. Take care. Bye.